Question 1D was as follows. The diagram below is a triangular prism. Okay, so we can take time, look at this uh, diagram. And I urge you viewers to pause this video so that uh, you can try to solve. Uh, after you solve, you can pray it so that you can check the answer I've gotten and the answer I'm going to find if they are the same. So that's a diagram. I'm sure you have studied it. Now, once you have studied it, we can go further and read the question. Given that PQ is equal to 8 cm, NQ is equal to 12 cm, MN is equal to 5 cm, and the height of the triangular of the triangle MON is 3 cm. Calculate the total surface area of the prism. Okay, so we need to find the total surface area of the prism. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write um, total surface of the prism. So how you find the area of a triangular prism is uh, you dismantle the triangular prism. Then you find um, the area of each surface. Okay, so when we go to the triangular prism, we have got the surface which is PQNO, PQNO, the base, okay? So we have got that surface which we are going to write and then we have also the face which is LQNM, LQNM and then we have also the surface which is uh, PLMO, okay? Then we have got two surfaces of triangles. So these two surfaces of triangles will put, put together to form one rectangle. So we can find the area of each uh, triangular face and then you multiply it by two. That means we have found the area of a rectangle that can be formed by these two triangles. So we can write plus two. So I've got in one face which is PLQ as the face of one triangular one triangle okay so we're going to find the area of one triangle and then multiply it by two okay then we're going to say uh, pq no uh, the length is 12 centimeter which will be multiplied by uh, eight centimeter okay then plus the the length of uh, lq n m is 12 centimeter by five centimeter okay as well as the the length of plmo is 12 centimeter multiplied by five centimeter and then we're going to multiply and that we're going to multiply by the length multiplied by the height we are told the height is three centimeter so we're going to have two multiplied by uh, one over two times eight times three okay then once we've done that, then we're going to find the product of these. So 12 times 8 will give us 96 plus 12 times 5 will give us 60 plus 12 times 5 will give us 60 plus. And then uh, we're going to have, we're going to simplify what is inside the brackets, which is uh, when you simplify 1 over 2 multiplied by 8 will give us 4. 4 by 3 will give us 12. Then we are going to have 2 by 12 centimeter squared then we are going to start adding so 96 plus 60 will give us 156 centimeter squared plus 60 centimeter squared plus so when you multiply 2 by 12 will give us 24 so it's going to be plus 24 centimeter squared then we're going to add 156 plus 60 will give us 216 centimeter squared plus 24 centimeter squared when we add 216 plus 24 centimeter squared to give us 240 centimeter squared and this was the total surface of this triangular uh, prism okay this is the total surface area of this triangular prism now we can go to quest to the next question